Hello, welcome back to another Tabletop Talk. Um, found a couple things inside of the Stratomatic Baseball um, directory folder. Um, one I knew was there and have been using for quite a while. The other one uh, I never knew was there until I did a little digging around uh, for this video. So the first one we'll look at uh, is so basically I installed Stratomatic where it the default is. Uh, so at C, Stratomatic Baseball. And then the first one is um, the Stratomatic Baseball Features by Season. We'll open that up. And blow it up a little here. So I um, actually use this chart a lot. Let me blow it up. It's kind of going slow. So hopefully you can see that. Let me see. So uh, what this is, is shows the different seasons uh, that have been created by Stratomatic and then the features that each season has. So for example, in 1947, uh, you can see that it's highlighted in red uh, and it has all of the features because it is new. So like for example, the BT is batter's ground ball versus fly ball tendency. Uh, which, uh, again, things like this are, are cool to me. Uh, probably a lot of people don't care, but uh, it, you know, it to me is realistic as it can get without being overly complicated uh, is cool to me. So if a batter hit more ground balls than fly balls, I'd like that to be represented in the game whenever possible. And so with the BT feature, uh, 1947, does indeed do that. And so that doesn't make the game any more complicated. It's just that the outs on their card represent the fact that they hit more fly balls or ground balls, depending on what they really did. So, uh, you know, that's an added bit of realism uh, that I like. You know, again, it gives you a better picture of the player. And again, it's not a deal breaker, you know. So some of these seasons obviously don't have that feature. Uh, but, uh, with me investing so much time in this 1947, uh, replay, uh, it, this does. And so I like that, uh, BW is pitchers rated individually for, uh, bulk and wild pitches. And so that is a feature, uh, the closer ratings are included. And again, I don't use that. So that's not as important, especially for me in 1947. DP is the batters individually rated on how often they ground into a double play. And so again, uh, that's uh, a, a, pic a picture of that player, and so that's included in this particular season. HO is the pitcher's hold rating. PA is the pitcher's individual rated for inducing double plays, which obviously is a Im very important factor for a pitcher, uh, and that is included uh, in this season. PF is uh, individual pitchers individually rated for a fielding range, so like, for example, some of the older seasons, all the pitchers have twos, whereas in this one, uh, they're rated individually. PJ is uh, individual ratings for pitchers, which obviously is, again, you know, pitchers who were injured a lot uh, will be injured here, at least more likely to. PU is the batter's tendency to pull, which, again, if a batter does that, I'd like it to be in the game. And again, all these things don't make the game any more complicated. It's just included in the results. Uh, PT is a pitcher's ground ball versus uh, fly ball tendency, which is cool. R5 is that there's certain raiders, um, certain fielders rated at a, as a five. So that's cool. Um, SP end is the starting pitcher's new endurance rating. And I don't know a lot about that, but BC is the... Uh, Ballpark and clutch ratings included. WE is weather effects included. Uh, PH is the whether the pitcher's actual hitting cards are available. And now for that one, I don't use because I'm doing um, as carded uh, and I don't have the actual cards of the pitcher's hitting cards. I, I, I'm not using that feature. Uh, stats, all life, real statistics for each player are displayed. Um... So that's that. Those are the main ones. So as you can see, again, 47 
uh, definitely has those um, options, and uh, I think that's very cool. And so uh, you can see here, like for example, these this down here in the bottom section, these are these were computer generated back in 1998. So these are the seasons that they don't have any uh, cards created. So 1952 is the newest season that they've never created a card set for. And then you can see quite a few, you know, 46, 5, 4. So quite a few of the 30s and 20s and 10s and aughts. Um, they've computer, gener uh, computer generated but never, um, you know, created a card set for. So uh, especially for my card collection, I kind of use this to kind of see. I actually have a different copy of this where I've highlighted over here the card, the sets that I have. And the sets that I don't, so like I don't have 27, I don't have 1930, which was created in 84. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is kind of a, a feature that I that I like. Um, let me do uh, one thing here. This I'm trying out a new mic, and um, I think I've got the gate on too hard. So let me. Set that down a little higher. See if that's a little better. Testing. Testing. Yeah, it sounded like it was cutting me off <laughs> too quick or uh, not opening the gate fast enough. So anyway, uh, that was, uh, again, I've used this quite a bit. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if any pe many people know when it, that it is there. So again, you can see the year it was released, the version uh, that was at the time. You can see the 1986. I think it's still doing that. Let's see. Let's see if that's a little better. So anyway, uh, wanted to show that um, if that's anything that you're interested in. Um, the other thing that I just found today, uh, and I thought this was really cool. If you go down to WBX, that's a web builder. So if you open it up, pick a league. So like my 1920 American League, you just build it. It will create a web, like a web page of uh, stats and things. So if you view it, uh, as you can see there, uh, it's got your standings. Uh, it's got like uh, your home run leaders, the top six runs batted in, batting average. Uh, and then if you want league leaders, it gives you those, which is really cool of all your stats. Uh, and again, you can see these in the game itself. Uh, but this is just kind of like a summary. So if you want, um, this is the team batting stats. Team, You can get the team pitching stats. So uh, uh, as you can see, my Chicago White Sox are not doing very good. And then you can actually hit on the team, and then it gives you the team stats, which is just really cool. So I, I never knew this existed until uh, just a couple of days ago. Uh Oh, that's cool. So you can you can actually um, uh, hit the section, and it will, like for example, if I want RBI leaders, I just hit the RBI, and it will give me the. And this is inside the team. Uh, so Happy Felsh has got fifty-seven. Buck Weaver's got fifty. So your pitching leaders, I can sort by wins. Uh, Seacott and Williams both have nine wins apiece. So anyway. Um, uh, that's really cool. So if you go back here, um, and again, that's just kind of like uh, standings. But from there, you can click on the teams. The Washington Senators, there's their stats. And so that's something I never knew existed. So it's just kind of like a little cool stat package that, at least for me, is a little easier to navigate than the stat package, you know, inside the game. Uh, but if you ever, if you wanted to do a website, I, I assume you could upload this because uh, that's what it is as a web builder. And so I thought that was a really uh, cool <laughs> little thing that I found that I didn't know was there. 
So, uh, and they also have, I haven't messed around with it. Um, but let me see. Let me see if I can build my 47. There's not much there yet. But let's look at it real quick. And it does it pretty quick. Okay, so if I want to view. So as you can see there, that's what I've got going on so far. So uh, the Cardinals are three and one. The uh, Cubs are three and one. Boston's three and two. So that's really cool. So, so far, a lot of people with two home runs, six RBI. So again, it's really early, uh, but that's uh, that's really cool. So you can see St. Louis has got a 180 ERA. Cincinnati's got a 592. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to share that because I didn't even know that thing existed. So, um, you know, that's a cool little feature inside of your, it's just WBEX inside of the Stratomatic. And then they got the encyclopedia there. Uh, they got CM, which is like a chart builder, uh, which I didn't, wasn't terribly interested in. Uh, but... Um, so just some little hidden things that they got in here that uh, I don't know that you may or may not be aware of. So wanted to show those off, and uh, I will try to get. I've uh, been playing quite a bit of 47, obviously, with me playing every game. Uh, you know, it's a slow go, but I will try to get some games up on the channel with that. Uh, but just uh, wanted to show that and... Uh, if anybody has any things on that I might have missed, feel free to add that in. Um, and, I mean, you've got your rule book here as well. And I think that's the, um, I believe that's the computer one. No, that's actually just the, the card and dice one. So, but anyway, um, I appreciate it very much, and I will see you next time.